game number two in the Hancock Whitney Classic featuring Mississippi State and Texas Tech. <laughs> Under the covering. One, two, and that's off the end of the bat, hit high down the left field line, but dropping fast, and that is going to fall in in this ballpark. 3-0 from Fristo, and it's inside. That's a really good job by Tanner to turn hit innings with 12 strikeouts. 3-1 is a little inside, and that is ball four. Good night. <laughs> Homered in four consecutive games after he had a solo home run in the seventh inning last night. 2-2, two -two and he lays into this one. Deep drive to left field at the wall, and it's a grand slam for Parker Kelly. Five straight days with the bomb, and the Red Raiders strike for four here in the second inning. The Bulldogs this afternoon. One, two, that's lined right up the middle, and a soft liner. Now Carter might have gotten a little underneath this, though with the wind, it's going to carry out to right field, and that flies over the wall. It is gone for Carter. Well, off the bat, it looked like he might have gotten too far underneath it, but he just put it up in the jet stream, and that one carries. 1-2, and that's hit out into right field. Continues to carry a dive, and it's hauled in by Clark, and he secured it. What a catch by Kellen Clark. This is the catcher, Logan Tanner. Right-handed batter, and the first pitch is yanked on the ground, fielded cleanly by Kelly, and a long throw for the out. And that hits him. Payoff, and he gets him to swing and miss. We'll go on a limb and say warmer. Keep a good thought. One, two, slow roller up the first baseline. Fielded easily by the first baseman. Still well, he'll go to the bag and record the out. So, three, two, dealing home. Just missing a bit high as it came in. Only walked and scored as well. He'll hit away this time. As he belts into left center field, Columbus talked about the adjustments he's made in the cage during his four years, especially last year. As that's bounced right past Fristo, tough play, bare hit it by Leggett, but it slips out of his hand. Here with Mississippi State, and one, two, swung on a miss for strike three from Toller. And it's outside, ball four. Call third strike, fastball outside a corner. You'd have to see as 3-2, Sieber chases after a pitch in the dirt here against Gumbus. 3-1. That's rifled to center field, but a right at Carter, the center fielder. Red First pitch popped up, shallow left field, Dalton Porter. Coming in now towards the line over his shoulder. Hangs on to make the catch. One in Lubbock, and he fouled one right back. And Jeff Haxon, the radio play by play voice for the Red Raiders, made a great play. This is a skimmer on the ground and an easy throw for the out. 0 2. And Stillwell takes it the knees. Next offer, weak bouncer. Tuller scoop shows the ball, underhand, strong flip, it's in time. Hits, no runs, one walk, four strikeouts. This is roped and a diving catch is made by Kelly. Wow. Kind of look at what he has to offer. 3-2 and Mesh can't hold up. And a strikeout is called, they won't even appeal. And two runs driven in. 1-2 and he swings and misses. Up with it, Conley, he's gonna give himself a wide throwing lane this time. And there's a called third strike on the outer edge. Move up onto the rubber and start throwing in earnest. 0-2, oh, and that's hit softly out into shallow center field and backing up on it is Leggett. Guys, after already being down a, a couple of arms and still waiting as this is hit and it's past the third baseman, James, out into left field. A little bit of spin on the hop. 
Hits this one on the ground, and that is right through the legs of Leggett. And so the inning will extend. He's that was blowing out to right when he was batting in the second. Takes a swing and comes up empty and strikes out. You see that Landon Sims pitched two and a third innings in one of those games. As this is outside, it's ball four. From Texas Tech. Meanwhile, on the other side, it was Mason Montgomery who got the start for Texas Tech in game one. As this is hit out towards the right field gap for Hines. There's the first hit of the ball game. That's going to rattle out at the wall, and they are going to give the wave to James. Here comes the throw. Young will not throw it as he hangs on, and it's an RBI double for Hunter Hines to put State on the board. It's 5-1. 1-1, that's hit high in the air. Wind is going to carry this one. Out into right field, waiting for it is Washburn. Runner will tag up to third, so Hines slides in and hangs on to the base over at third. 3-0 is outside, it's ball four. Pull, and the shortstop, Wilson, is deep in the hole. 2-0, goes the opposite way, and there's the base hit for Cumbus. In the score is Hines, and in his return to the coast. The left side of second is the third baseman, Kelly, who's a couple of steps off the bat. 2-2 is bounced right into the teeth of that shift, but the only play is going to be to first, and they will retire Clark. 1-1, and that's hit out into left field. Long run on for Porter, but he's able to get there and squeeze it for the last out. In the green, new. Get you the rest of the way home. That might have been a bad choice of words there, Thomas. Rain is not exactly what we're looking for as the rain has started to fall again. The first pitch from Mikey Tepper is hit in the air. That is carrying back towards the right field wall. And a spinning grab is not made by Kellum Clark. Rounding second and heading for third is Wilson. And he's going to be in standing up. But three runs, but any more than that, it gets a little dangerous. And this is high and away. It gets all the way to the backstop. Doesn't take any kind of ricochet and end the score on the wild pitch. For a coaching staff. Three and two is low ball four. So Washburn and slam back in the second. This one is bunted perfectly up to third. The only play for James is going to be to first. It's the walk of the game for Mississippi State pitching. As this is hit in the air, out into center field, Cumbus tracking it out towards the gap, and he'll reach up and make the grab and left. And so, six against him. Deals the 3-1. That's hit in the air, out into center field, but playable for Carter as he waits underneath it and makes the grab. In this ballpark for years, as the first pitch is slashed out into left field, and that'll drop and get past the left fielder, Porter, and go all the way to the wall. Siebert around first, he'll be in the second. Girton deals. And this is hit right back up the middle. It's caught by Young, a race to the bag, and safe at second is Siebert. And this is bounced in and gets away from Conley, so there's 93 feet for Siebert. 3-2. Taken at the knees for a cold third strike. Girton punches out Clark, E.H. Ryan Brome. And the first pitch from Tepper comes in and gets him on his back foot. 2-2, Two -two. late, and swings and misses for a strikeout. 3-1, bouncer, long run, Leggett dives and saves it, but no opportunity. 1-1, and that's chopped on the ground. Another play for Leggett. This one gets past him, and they're going to wave the runner Swanson home, and the throw is way high and safe over at third on the slide to the indoor batting cage that's underneath the grandstand. Called third strike, snapped off a break. First offer on the way, and that's hit out into left field. Coming on now is Downs, and he'll get underneath it at a stride to make the grab. Kick and the 2-0, and that is hit over to third and a little skip by Kelly. One of the easier plays he's made all night. An RBI single, but that's been it for the scoring tonight so far for State. Jaeger bounces this one. Young is waiting for it, and he makes the throw with a little bit of a stretch from Stilwell as he winds again. And this is a slow chopper out towards short. Scooped up in the back heel by Wilson, throw to first, and Stilwell holds the bag as he lays out, and that brings the game to a close. 
So Texas Tech bounces back and picks up a 7-2 victory over Mississippi State tonight.